All right, here's the quick layout for the gumball machine body. Uh, everyone should get a block. If they wrote their name where they should have on the block, it should be somewhere like here. If they didn't, they just need to grab a block without a name. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to uh, go to one of the ends. One end, you're gonna write your name. The other end, you are going to draw an X. So this one here says spare because it's a spare block. This one here is gonna get an X. Don't draw an X freehand. You're gonna take a ruler or some other straight edge. You're gonna place the ruler or other straight edge on one corner and the corresponding corner. And you're gonna draw a line. Then you're gonna come this way. Do the exact same thing on the other two corners. Draw a line. Make sure it's on the corners. I get lots of kids who go like this. Once you have that done, you need to take a square, tri square, or you need to take the speed square. You're gonna take it, you're gonna put it on the face of your project. Okay, this is the referencing edge. This is a referencing edge, the blue portion. It's gonna go on the face. Okay, when it goes on the face, this ruler part will be sitting 90 degrees to the face. How do we know what sides the face? We glued these blocks together. On one part of the block, we're gonna have seams where we glued them together. Sometimes we glue four pieces of material together. Other times we glue two pieces together. You're gonna look around. Hey, this one doesn't have any seams. There's some more seams. There's no seams. This one has a crack though, that's no good. You're gonna look around, you're gonna find the nicest one for the front, making sure there's no seams. Now, put your square on top with the referencing edge on the front. Bring it to the center of the X. Draw a line. Notice I didn't draw a line all the way across. I only drew it to the front. That's because I'm going to extend this line down the front, not down the back. I'm now gonna take it, I'm gonna hold it at a slight angle. I am going to just make the slightest mark right here. Boop. Extending that line to the front. Now, I shall take my square one more time. This time I'll use this square. I'm gonna put it here. Referencing edge on the top, making sure it's making full contact. Move it down. Find your mark. Any marks that you make at this point on your project need to be as light as possible. Do not push hard whatsoever. You'll be making yourself more work. Okay, I'm going to make a mark all the way down here. Make sure that this is in full contact. It says pivot here. It can pivot here. Don't let it pivot. Okay, comes into full contact. There's a nice light mark. Now we have a line all the way down the middle. Okay. Back up a second. This X is going to be the hole that the gumball falls out of the jar into. Now we need to make a mark where the hole is going to be for the mechanism that turns that drops the gumball down. I'm gonna take a ruler or another measuring device. I'm gonna measure down two inches. One, two. If you measure down two inches and it doesn't look like it's like 40% of the way down the block, you probably measured down two centimeters. You don't wanna do that, you want two inches. Okay, once you have that mark there, you're gonna take your square. I'll use the speed, not the speed square, I'll use the tri-square this time. It's gonna go here, referencing edge on the side. Slide it up to the mark. Draw a line across, nice and light. The next one. We're gonna draw one more. This one's gonna be the mouth hole. This is where the gumball falls out. This is the hardest measurement out of all because now we're gonna use a fraction of an inch. We're measuring from the bottom up one and one eighth inches. I recommend using the squares, not the ruler for this. If you look really close at the rulers, there's a whole bunch of dashes here. It starts at 30 seconds and works their way up. Let's make it easy. All the squares in the shop the dashes go at one eighth of an inch. What that means is for every eight dashes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's a hole. Eight over eight is one. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the one and we're gonna go to one more eighth to right here. 
So measuring from the bottom up, one and an eighth, we make a mark. Now, take your square, put it on the side as light as possible. Draw your line across. That is the layout for the gumball machine body. Everyone should do it together. When you're done, slide your block up to another block and see if the lines match. If they don't, you did something wrong.